All right, church, we're looking at Philippians chapter 3 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is press. Now, last chapter, we looked at the fact that we can, in our obedience to God, bring him pleasure. And in chapter 1, we looked at the fact that there is a partnership, a partnership between us and God and between us and fellow believers to live out this Christian life. And here in chapter 3, why do we need partnerships and how can we bring God's pleasure is a striving, a pressing that we need to do. So let's drop down to pick up in verse 12. It says this, Not that I have already already attained this or I'm already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus had made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. Paul, after describing um, his great heritage and the fact, you know, he was a Jew of Jews and doing all this righteous stuff, says he counts that all as loss, all as garbage compared to the fact that he is just knows God and he's saved by faith in Jesus Christ. But he says, look, I can forget all the good things and even all the bad things in my past because I'm straining forward now. I'm pressing forward. I'm seeking to do what God has me to do so that, once again, we can obtain uh, more like to live more like Christ, which he addresses in chapter 2, but also that we are, once again, working in our yeah, Christ-like maturity and our obedience, but we're also looking towards the end goal, looking towards either Christ coming back or us being called home and being ushered into a permanent, final uh, relationship, partnership, pleasure-seeking relationship with God for all of eternity. So let's work diligently now for the hope that we will have in the future. So as you're looking at your life, are you seeking to be partnering with other people? Are you bringing uh, pleasure to God with your obedience? And are you striving? Are you pressing hard in your devotion, in your application of God's Word into your life, not to earn your salvation, But in light of the fact that you have been saved, um, are you striving to be the best Christian you can be for God's kingdom, for your own pleasure, for the pleasure of others, and that you can bring even more people into into Christ, and that you can build up others into maturity as well. So let's press on together, church.